Hi there, it's Katherine Norland. I am in Arizona for a mastermind conference I'm going to tomorrow, and I was about to go to bed, but first I was scrolling through Facebook and I was getting encouraged to see all my friends who are up to big things and doing really cool things, flying to different states uh, to be in movies, um, writing their books, conquering the mountains they want to climb and reaching all of these goals and but you know sometimes when you scroll through that you can start to question well gosh I haven't really achieved that much or I haven't really done that much or I haven't been a best-selling author or I've not been on those TV shows people have heard of and you start to think that you don't have value you start to think that you aren't of value and that your life hasn't accomplished much or that you haven't done enough, that you don't deserve to have value and worth. And I'm gonna tell you, you do. And God loves you just the way you are. And you don't have to achieve anything, do anything big or become anything, just you as you are, are good enough without alphabets behind your name, without big accomplishments, without Instagram fame or social media fame. You know, sometimes we're not all meant to have that life. Some of us might get that, but we don't have to fake it. We don't have to be posting on social media about how great everything is and how awesome it is and hashtagging the grind and the hustle and set life and yeah we all do that sometimes but and that's fine when you do but we don't have to blow up our lives to make them pretend to be something that we're not I'm coming to you in my pajamas with no makeup on because I want you to know it's about being real, your real authentic self, unapologetically. Some people may hate you for it. Some people may not find value in you because your star meter on IMDb isn't a certain number or you haven't worked with certain famous people. That doesn't mean you should quit or give up or think that you haven't done anything important or accomplished anything. The lives you touch you may never know just by being who you are, saying a kind word to somebody at Starbucks, um, giving a dollar to a homeless person, being there for a friend when they're down and in need of speaking to someone. You never know whose lives you're gonna change and what's gonna matter in eternity. And I can tell you one thing for sure, it's not gonna matter how many followers you had. When you die and you face the end of your life, the amount of books you published, movies you've made, however you make a mark in this world, it's not gonna be those things. It's gonna be the lives you've touched, how you were selfless, how you went out of the way, how you helped that widow, or you went and played ball with that foster kid. Think about what really matters in life and do more of that. Do more of the face-to-face -face touching lives and less of the showing off of what may be or may not be all that real just to get a certain number of hearts or thumbs up on, on your social media pages. I can tell you, if you're focusing on that instead of the other, you're going to be able to sleep at night and you're going to feel good about your accomplishments whether they stack up against famous peoples or not, that's not what's important when it all comes down to it. It's about your heart and the lives that you touched along the way just by being your authentic, true self and going out of the way to be of service. So I encourage you, instead of waking up each day and saying, 
how can I get more likes? How can I get more followers? Maybe wake up each day and say, how can I be of service to a world that is broken and hurting and needs some genuine kindness and love? And how can I be that love vessel? Take care.